So, you're going out for the evening. Your hair is done, your nails are done, your outfit is on, you're wearing your favorite fragrance. Nobody's smelling better than you. And your guy is with you. You want him to match your energy, don't you? I do. If you want to hear the fragrances that I love on my guy so far for the year, stay tuned. Before I get into the video, guys, I want you to like it. Please like it and leave a comment in the comment section below letting me know what fragrances you're loving on your guy. Let me know that you, that you subscribe. Say hi. Leave a comment. Let's chat. So glad to have all of you who are returning and those who are new. My name is Nikki and I love fragrances and I love fragrances on my guy. So I'm going to share with you four fragrances that my guy has been wearing that I am ab absolutely in love with now some of them two of them i bought for myself because i tend to buy unisex fragrances in the event that he may also like them and two of them are strictly for men but guys let's just let's just start because when your guy smells good dresses good has a great attitude like that's it right there it's all of that for me so the first fragrance of my that my guy wears that i absolutely love is by the fireplace by maison Marigella. now i bought this um not a blind buy i sniffed it in sephora and i loved it i bought this for me and i thought to myself he's not gonna like this because this is sweet and you know, he typically says he doesn't like sweet fragrances. And as I said to you guys in numerous videos before, I love that ambery, boozy, vanilla, um, woody type scent profile. Now the notes in this absolutely caught my attention. In the top we have clove, pink pepper, orange blossom, so we get that initial burst of, you know, a spicy, warm, uh, almost like a nose tickling scent. Then it goes into chestnut, guyot wood, and juniper. So you start to get that kind of woody, almost like if you're by a fireplace, you know, you're around the fireplace and the wood is burning. That's what you get, that kind of sweet wood burn, but not like a black ash burn but just like a sweet cozy burning wood and then in the base you get vanilla peru balsam and cashmere on now when i wear this when i smell this i immediately get vibes of smokiness oh woodiness a slight cherry flavor to the wood so the wood is not just plain wood it's a cherry flavored wood i get a boozy uh feel to it even though this does not contain amber but some of the vanilla, the balsam, the guyac wood, the chestnut, the cloves all mixed together to give this boozy, warm, spicy, cherry, vanilla, slightly sweet. It's not cloyingly or overbearingly sweet. It's not like bubblegum sweet, but just like that. Oh, this is so good. This is so good. Slightly sweet fragrance and i as i said i never thought he would like this because i said this is gonna be too sweet for him i wore this a night to bed and he's like what are you wearing and i was like a new fragrance he wanted to smell it the next day he went to work he's like i want to wear the one you had on last night i'm like you don't mean my by the fireplace child he's been wearing it ever since look at it then i'm very disturbed about this by the way i got this in january this year and I'm gonna have to get another one pretty soon. Like he is mowing through this, but he absolutely loves this. Maison Marigella by the fireplace, and I love it too. This is absolutely beautiful. So ladies, if you wanna get your guys something and they kinda of like the same scent profile, you can try this. Um, by the fireplace by Replica Maison Marigella. That's the first one. Mm. The second fragrance that he absolutely loves, I. I also purchased this one 
again, I sniffed it in Sephora and the scent profile immediately caught my attention. And let me tell you the notes in this one. And tell me if you see or you pick up anything similar in all of these fragrances as I read the notes to you. So this, I'm not going to show you what it is yet. I'm going to read the notes. Pink pepper, elemi, bergamot, grapefruit in the top. Cinnamon, saffron, and paprika in the heart. Tobacco, leather, and vetiver in the dry down. When I tell you, this fragrance is a bomb. Victor and Rolf Spice Bomb. <sighs> when I sniffed this, I was like, yes, I have to have it now. This is so good. This is so good. And let me, let me just say now, I'm going to use certain phrases all through this video. So good, amazing, sexy, stunning, I love, right? I'm just letting you know now, this fragrance is so, so, so good. This is spicy, warm, woodsy, peppery. In the, in the initial spray, you get a blast of that pink pepper. It hits you <laughs> literally in the back of your nose with the bergamot and the grapefruit. So it has a slight citrusy vibe. But then the dry down, oh my God. The tobacco and the leather for me and the vetiver kind of dry down cool. So it starts off warm and expansive and billowy and like a bomb. But then it dries down to a cool, almost reserved type of guy. So for me personally, I love the opening and the heart in this one better than the dry down. I don't like the dry down so much because on my skin, it comes off a little too masculine. But guys, on him, Victor and Raw Spice Bomb is amazing. And listen, I bought this one first and because I love this one so much, I said, let me try the Flower Bomb because I heard lots of people talking about the flower, flower Bomb. And I said, well, it's the same company. If the male version is so good, I must try the female version so i got the spice bomb now the spice bomb was a blind buy i didn't like it i didn't like it i hear people saying it is so sweet it is a blast of florals and sweetness i don't get any florals i don't get any sweetness in in flower bomb i get the tea note there's a tea note in flower bomb that i that's the only thing i smell is tea I'm um, like, why are people saying this This fragrance is so sweet? Why are people saying that the florals are all in your face? I am not getting any of that. So listen, guys. Sorry. A truck just passed. So guys, that's why it is so true that when people say how a fragrance uh, hits you is so unique to you. I don't like to buy fragrances for people. I don't like people to buy fragrances for me because it is so subjective. So the moral of that story is don't blind buy. As I continue to blind buy. But I'm telling you, don't blind buy. So the second fragrance that he absolutely loves and I absolutely love on him is the Victor and Rolf Spice Bomb. Now, I do not know the longevity, well, not longevity. Let me say I do not know the projection because I'm not with him during the day, so I don't know how expansive the fragrances are, but I know that when he comes home at the end of the day, even if it's 11 at night, 11.30 at night, I can still smell these fragrances on his clothes. So longevity for me would be over eight hours. The third one, now this is just a tiny little sample that I got in a discovery set from the House of Siyash, the men's discovery set. This is Dignified. Now, I have never heard anybody talk about this fragrance before. Dignified. Mm, the name says it all. This guy wears a navy blue suit. Crisp white inside shirt. Oxford shirt. He's not wearing a tie though because that's a bit too stuffy. The next open. Child. When he walks by, everybody just... Damn! He smells sophisticated. He smells like money, baby. But he got a little bit of bad boy in him, too. He's not like 
the stuffy guy who you can't take anywhere. He got a little bit. He can. He can. He can be in the streets if he needs to be in the streets. But when he needs to be in the office and he needs to be corporate, he got it all together. Dignified is so good. It is so. And you see, he all's gone. So I think I'm gonna I probably have to get a full bottle of this for him sometime soon. And let me tell you the notes in this one. It opens with saffron, vetiver, oud, and clove. Well, sorry, it doesn't open up with those. That's the scent profile. Saffron, vetiver, oud, and clove. When I tell you, it's the clove for me. It's the oud for me. And then the saffron gives it that boozy, billowy type smell. The vetiver kind of balances everything and keeps it chill when i tell you this fragrance on him expands like nobody's business we wore he well not we he wore this uh some day we went to a pool party in the day and we were sitting under the under the awning and the breeze was blowing and every time the wind shifted i kept saying what is that and i'm smelling then i made it i was like wait a minute is that you is that the freak dignified oh my god listen guys this is underrated Dignify. I don't hear anybody on YouTube talking about about this. Trust me when I tell you, you have to get your nose on Dignify. This is good, 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 honey. Trust and believe this is good. Number three, Dignified by the House of Siage. He would get my number. If I wasn't married and he was just a guy, he'd get my number if he wore this. Yeah. The last fragrance, I have four fragrances for you. The last fragrance that he wears that does something to my soul. <sighs> I featured this one before on my channel. I think this was in my June favorites. Scents I loved in June. I think Cairo was in it. Cairo by the House of Penthaligon. Again. He's killing me. I bought this for me. And I thought, maybe he'd like it. Because I couldn't get my hands on Hal Fetty. So I, I settled for Cairo. That is an understatement. There's no settling here, baby. Cairo stands all on her own. I guess I said her. She stands all on her, on her, on, uh, all on her own. She's an amber floral and it's a unisex fragrance. Notes in this. Damask rose, saffron, again, vanilla, cypriol oil, labdamum, patchouli, leather, sandalwood, honey, Cairo. Whenever he sprays Cairo, I stop what I'm doing and I just, I just take in the goodness. Cairo is just warm spicy it's aromatic at the same time it's boozy and it has a little bit of freshness in it so on my skin the freshness in this one i guess from the i don't even know i don't know if it's cypriol oil if it's patchouli or what i don't know what in this scent profile is giving me fresh but in the dry down it's all freshness on me but still a little bit spicy so it's fresh, spicy in the dry down, but in the beginning, it's warm, spicy, boozy, ambery goodness. Cairo, honey. I absolutely love, I am falling in love with Cairo. And this is going to have to be a forever in my collection. I don't know where I'm going to be able to get this again, because as I said, I passed through uh, London airport and I picked this up. But let me tell you, child, this is good. This is good. So guys, these are the four fragrances that your guy can wear for the summer. I know a lot of people say, oh, these fragrances with the booziness and the amber and the oud and so on are good for summer and not summer, for winter and fall. But we don't have winter and fall here. We just have summer. So we have to wear our fragrances regardless. But this is good. This is not cloying. I, I wore this on Friday to, not Friday. When did I wear it? I wore this this week sometime. And I liberally sprayed because I was like, I need to smell you all day. And nobody died. Nobody died. Nobody complained that it was too much. Nobody meant like, ooh, this is good. 
this is good this well all of these fragrances are good but as you can see in the scent profile woody fragrances woody spicy um woody spicy amber floral so i tend to like the same scent profile on him as i like on me what can i say i like what i like right so guys thanks for watching that was the last fragrance i had for you i hope you enjoyed and of course if you like this video and you want to see more content from me please like it it's not going to kill you it's not going to take anything off of you just press bloop, the little button like and subscribe and tell your friends about it and of course drop me a comment in the comment to let me know what are your favorite fragrances that you love on your guy for the summer thanks guys i'll see you in another video bye